the overwhelming thing for me in terms of this discussion about collaboration is that the mass of sociology and the impulses and forces towards transparency, the flows of data information overload, is that it will make it's imperative, and it will happen anyway, that it will make things clear. The question then becomes one of philosophy and politics. And I remember writing about this when I first wrote about hierarchy 10 years ago. Um, there's been a lot of writing on the positive, utopian uh, collectiveness, collective consciousness and intelligence raising of this. There's also a dark side of surveillance and control and invasion of privacy and so on and so forth. Uh, and neither will be fully resolved and both will be eternally present with us. Um, but this getting clear means then that things that are not dealt with will remain there and we will collectively as a society or as an organization, if you, we will acquiesce or not. Mm -hmm. We will say yes. And for me, that the big danger of this webified world, and I actually think we're on our way there, and this may disqualify me from uh, further involvement in this project or something, I think we're on the way towards what I call soft fascism, yeah. <clears throat> uh, in certainly the industrialized countries. And I think what ultimately what the web and collaboration forces bring to us is a need for the individual, a heightened um, need for uh, responsibility, for paying attention, for... Uh, The constraints, constraints that have been put upon people to date have been typically from constraints from them acting like some, you know, the metaphor that's often been used is unruly really children in, in grade school. Um, and that's what's been behind a lot of the initiatives and the lamentations about empowerment for many years is that by and large hierarchy in organizations doesn't treat knowledge workers as adults, as responsible adults. We're going to have to decide about those kinds of things. Hmm. And I think what I see in the United States is there has been acqui... I think the danger of a lot of this is that there will actually be tightened control and hierarchy. I think that's very real and very possible. Um, and the control will be maintained by... Uh, the flip side of all this, which is that people come and go from jobs, so it's easy to, way easier to get rid of people uh, in North America than it is in France. Yes. Uh, and there's an enormous amount of con corporate control of people by fear. I don't see that changing particularly anytime soon. I mean, behind all this, my, my final notes and my beginning notes is uh, and, and came to light in the competition versus collaboration strategy. Behind all this is the philosophical issues of whether capitalism um, is what organizations should be working at. Really, <laughs> you know, and until you change capital markets, the demands for performance will demand control. <laughs> 